What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Pyrotechnic Plays Nocturne Rebirth. Alright, so here's how we're going to do this. I know where to go next if I don't get interrupted by story. Uh, which I mean I hope I do, it's a great story. Uh, so when I get to there, I know my cap is level 20. I'm going to save it before I do it. So that way if I need to go back, in case I get my ass kicked and bug frag has to bail me out. Has to bail me out. I'll be able to try his suggestion. But, uh, alright. Alright, I'm gonna go stock up. See if some stuff happens. This is look like a dawn. Yeah, the color has been changed. The color is that. For some reason, it's kind of hard to see. I don't know. Do I get new items now? New items are arriving. I'll never have them actually though. Alright. <clears throat> Alright. 764 mil. So what what did I get another? I got a lapis lazul and that's for alchemy. Constantly miss the light order for use in alchemy. Okay. Well, that's good. What did I have that? What did I use? I used an opal, didn't I? Like that? World's strongest sword that just almost kills me every time I get it. Oi, 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 oi. Alright, well, at least I'm stocked up. Are you ever gonna get new items, cutie? Come on. Alright. Anything important happening over here? Things. Okay. Oh shit. I did it now. I activated the story time. The ever unchanging wind. The ever unchanging sky. The ever unchanging night. Death is everywhere in this world. Humans kill their enemies so that they can live long. They fear the shadow of death that tags along them. They survive by spreading death across their surroundings. But at the end of it all, they themselves are buried in death. Everything is predetermined, and it's pointless trying to find a way around that. That's why I've long stopped asking myself questions like why I exist and who I exist for. What is the use of a pen? A pen is for writing, jotting down stuff. What is the use of a bridge? A bridge is for allowing humans to cross rivers, valleys, and the like and enter, new, enter a new territory. What is the use of a sword? A sword is for slaying enemies. What is the use of our existence? What a dumb question. All we ever do is seek pleasures. Oh shit. Oh, Luna. She should be around here somewhere. Stop. What brings you all the way here? Are you here to laugh at me? No, not at all. As I thought, you're seriously injured. Don't get close to me. Huh. Laugh all you want. I'm after all. No, sorry, that's not my intention. It's just that, well, you're similar to Mr. Reviel. Similar? I'm similar to that monster? Mr. Reviel isn't a monster. It doesn't matter either way. I thought I told you not to get close to me. Ugh. Please, let me treat your wounds. Why? You still remember what I did to you, right? There's no way you could have forgotten it. What is your motive, really? It's not motive or anything like that, it's just... How about this, then? 
Please tell me all you know about vampires. Vampires, huh? They're beings that lurk in darkness. Night is their friend, while day is their enemy. They possess, tr they, possess they possess tremendous power and use that to attack people and suck their fresh blood. They're the greatest and worst natural enemies of humans. They can never get along with humans. Nothing more than that can be said about them. Why do you hate vampires so much, Edith? A person whose blood is sucked by a vampire will get one of three outcomes. The first outcome is that the person will be unresponsive to the dark, to the strong dark mana given out by the vampire and will become a mere corpse. Well, that's possibly the most fortunate outcome a vampire's victim can get. The second outcome is that the person will be bound to the vampire's mana and will become the vampire's loyal servant that only obeys the vampire. That servant is what is known as a dark disciple. Of course, a dark disciple has no will of its own. It's dead after all. It's a puppet controlled by a vampire. Nothing more, nothing less than that. And a third outcome is that the person will turn into a vampire. Turn into a vampire? Vampires do not come into existence out of nowhere. They do not come into existence via conception or fertilization either. All vampires are without exception, born as a result of them being once victims of other vampires. So that means there's a chance that those whose blood has been sucked by vampires will turn into vampires, right? Yes, that's what happens after they're consumed by vampires' mana, and their lives just end, just like the other two outcomes. That being said, it's rare for a vampire's victim to be revitalized while possessing powerful dark mana and retaining self-consciousness. That is the birth of a vampire as a living being. No, not a living being, but one of the living dead. As vampires are already dead, they don't age. Because they're not living, it's hard to kill them. And the most dangerous thing about them is their powerful dark mana. That mana has the ability to stimulate a corpse and is the source of a vampire's powers. That mana is also what drives a vampire to madness. There's a chance that a vampire's victim who was originally sane as a human will become like that vampire I killed four days ago. Do you get it now? The existence of vampires is a sin in itself. Their existence alone causes many people to be hurt. Many lives to be lost, many bodies to be engulfed in darkness. God, it is lines make me just want to drink water constantly. Okay. <clears throat> Much better. Alright. Vampires certainly cannot be forgiven or left at large. I understand that vampires can only come into existence by other vampires, but in that case, how did the first, or the very first vampire come into existence? So you notice that contradiction. The truth is, there are many theories about the exact origins of vampires. Those theories include an epidemic, the Satan's curse, and a test from God. Also, one particular hypothesis has come into attention at present. That hypothesis is with regard to the existence of the three ancestor vampires. It's said that they're more of devils than vampires. Ancestors of vampires? Vampires are generally classified into three types. There's the imperial type that possesses superior physical and magic skills. There's the chaotic type that possesses the unique ability to inflict curse and eye skills. And there's the abyssal type that boasts tremendous infectious powers. Everything about vampires began with those three ancestors. There's no proof of that though. In fact, the existence of those ancestors has yet to be confirmed. But that hypothesis is something I'm most positive about. Uh, oh, I am a being that lurks in the abyssal. 
My bad. Just kill the whole mood. Alright. I am the being. I am the be I am a being that lurks in the... <clears throat> Froze time. I am a being that lurks in abyssal darkness and lives for eternity. You weak humans can never compare with the likes of me. Those three... The flame ignited in me shall not vanish. It shall burn everything into ashes. No doubt about that. They're... They're the same race. What a fool. It looks like you still have no idea who you're dealing with at all, do you? What's wrong? Why do you suddenly look so pale? N no it it's nothing. Um, let's say that hypothesis is true. It would then mean those three ancestors are responsible for bringing vampires into existence, right? Yes. Y yes. I mean, yes. <laughs> Fuck. Those three are the main culprits. They can never be forgiven. So what? Chaos, Rastil, Chaos. Yeah, Chaos. Chaos, Rastil, and Reviel are the three, like, first vampires ever of all time. Hmm. Hmm. Holy shit, babe. Holy shit. Right? Holy shit. Alright. <laughs> what? This is a thaumaturgy 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 skill? Where in the world did you learn it? I, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Ah, uh, wait! From what I just saw there's virtually no mistake about it. Finally. Those ancestors' existence has finally come to light. Oh, shit. Oh, man, the plot thickens. Oh, oh. Right, we got one more. It all ends today on the next episode of Fire Technic Plays. All right, we got one more dungeon to do, baby. We got one more dungeon to do. Actually, let me check out sword skills. Let me check out. Uh, let me check out the sword skills. I gotta check them out. All right, there it is. The oh, shies of Manelli. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Now those have like stupid. I mean, they're not as powerful, I guess. I mean, I guess none of these really had elements. Huh. I mean, alright, let's save it. Let's save it right now. Let's save it. So let's see. Save. And this is pre bug frag. That's our pre-bug fragged one. All right, so then save up here again. So that's ours. All right, all right, all right. So status. All right. I obviously gotta get the new deliciousness. What? What? Why can't I get it? What, do I gotta get this? What? What the fuck? What? I think there's all my shit up and I'm super powerful now though. <laughs> Alright, let's try it again. I just didn't, I didn't know how to, how the fuck they work. Alright. Alright, so I gotta figure out how that, how that works exactly. I bet that's just stupid powerful now. <laughs> Alright, enough photo. Oh, don't do that. Alright. <laughs> Sorry, I just... I need to know. Alright, so... What's 
Alright, so this just doesn't do jack diddle if I do that wrong. Okay. I'll never know how to unlock that one. <laughs> That's what I have chosen for my pre-bug fragged thing. And I will take on the level 20 Brave Clear Dungeon, which may be our last dungeon on the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, hit the like. If you want more, hit subscribe. And if you want to actually know when I release a video, fucking hit that bell. Thank you, and I'll see you when I make another one.